In the end, we have to say there was no bomb and no real risk to those aboard. But what happened on a transatlantic flight Tuesday is just the latest example of a hair trigger zero tolerance security approach when it comes to any perceived threat in the sky. Delta Airlines Flight 273, an Airbus 330 with 235 passengers and a crew of 13, was headed from Paris to Atlanta on Tuesday. About four and a half hours into the flight, some seven miles above the Atlantic, onboard air marshals responded to a disturbance caused by this man, 26-year-old Derek Stansbury of Riverview, Florida. It's a very surreal situation. The crew did a great job, kept everybody under control. While details are still unclear, officials say Stansbury made some kind of comment about having explosives with him. So Marshall separated Stansbury from his bags, and the pilots diverted the flight to Bangor, Maine. Other passengers on the plane weren't sure what was going on. Take all the pillowcases, all the things, and we just was very scared because nobody said anything to us. Someone in the back said someone was in handcuffs, and the marshals were back there. A check of Stansbury's background revealed he was not on any watch or no-fly list. His bag showed no evidence of explosives, and his unblemished military record also helped to calm concerns. He, he served in the military. He had two tours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan, um, and he wouldn't do anything this crazy. Whatever happened, it's the second high-profile in-flight drama in just three weeks. On April 7th, Qatari Embassy employee Mohammed al Mudadi was detained by federal air marshals after joking about setting his shoes on fire during a United Airlines flight from Washington to Denver. Now, officials say they don't really know if Stansbury intended to make a threat or just said something foolish. But in any case, Stansbury, a former Air Force intelligence specialist, could face charges. Maggie? Bob Orr in Washington. Bob, thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.